Because it, yeah. it's it's just an outside looking in observation that Donald yeah. Trump seems to have substituted the rallies that fed yeah. him emotionally with this with these briefings. Is there any other reason he's doing them? Yeah, it's a great question, Joy. You know, from my sources who are in touch with the White House, uh, several uh, people have told me that one of the things that is driving this is that the president has been furious and frustrated at uh, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who has been holding these very widely uh, well-received more early morning press conferences and, in the president's view, has sort of hijacked the news cycle. And so now you see Trump, you know, taking the stage after Cuomo, trying to take back the mantle. And unfortunately, he's doing that with misinformation. So uh, th we're in a situation where the president's narcissism and his need to be at the center of every story, even though the story is not about Donald Trump, this story is about a global pandemic, is what is driving the White House's communication strategy. I had a, a senior former West Wing official tell me that the president needs to be his own press secretary, and that is what's driving this. Yeah, I mean, Queens versus Brooklyn jealousy is, you know, real cute and clever, uh, you know, in like the hip hop back and forth every so often. This is absurd. He's mad that another New Yorker is getting the stage, so he has to clamber onto the stage and pretend to be an expert in drug therapies. It's absolutely unimaginable. Um, I want to play just a little bit of because I, I don't want to imply that the journalists have not held him to account. Journalists have been actually stellar at trying, right, to hold him to account. Um, and I want to give a couple of uh, these great journalists a little shout out here by playing a bit of them. Cecilia Vega and Yamiche Alcindor um, pushing Trump on this reworking, which we saw the close up photo of his remarks in which he took coronavirus off, crossed it out and put in Chinese virus. So this is the other question I have as to whether or not Donald Trump is also using these press conferences as a way to put these xenophobic tropes into the public view for his supporters. Here are these two great reporters trying to call him on that. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? Because it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why comes from China. I want to be accurate. There are some, at least one White House official, who used the term Kung Flu, referring to the fact that this virus started in China. Is that acceptable? Is it wrong? Is you know who said that? that? I'm not sure the person's name, but would you condemn you the fact say that Say the Kung term Flu? again. The, a person at the White House used the term the Kung term. Flu. My question is, do Kung you think flu. that's wrong? Kung Flu. And do you think using the term Chinese virus, that puts Asian Americans at risk, that people no, might target not at them? All. No, not at all. I think they probably uh, would agree with it 100%. Uh, and I want to just show you guys